to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Kendall and here we talk about all things makeup and all things makeup related today I am going to be doing a little tutorial on the pure raw beauty Christie palette this came out two weeks ago and it was such a big also kind of disastrous launch if I'm sure if you've heard about it you know what a mess launch day was it took me hours to get this palette um, but I'm so glad that I did as you can see it is a double sided palette so on one side you get all these beautiful neutral colors and then on the other side of the palette are all these beautiful rainbow colors I have never seen something like this before I think it is so innovative and so cool and so great for traveling not that I'm traveling anytime soon but it's $34 for 18 shades and I love how cute and compact it is and today I'm just going to be doing a little tutorial for you I mixed it up a little bit in this video I did things a little bit differently typically when I do my intros I don't have any makeup done at all but this is the eye look that I am going to be doing for today's video so if you are interested in how I came up with it please stick around I do have a giveaway in this video so if you want to win the palette that I <laughs> accidentally acquired two of my loss is your gain um, stick around and I will uh, let you know details on the end on how to win that the palette retails for $34 not that it matters now because you can't get it anymore but <laughs> Anyway, that's it that I have for this intro. Uh, let's go ahead and jump to the tutorial. Okay, so first things first, I'm dipping into the shade Camelot. This is my favorite shade in the entire palette on both sides. It's like my favorite shade ever. It is that perfect mustard yellow color and I absolutely love it. So I'm putting that all over my crease and then I'm going into the shade Copper Boxes and I'm putting that directly under the Camelot shade just to deepen it up. And now we're getting that beautiful warm uh, spicy mustard color, I would say. Lots of condiments happening right now on my eyes. Then I'm going into the shade B. This palette is so great. If you can see the way she like laid out everything, I just went down a row and created a whole look. Anyway, I'm taking that shade B and I'm putting that right on the crease. It's okay if you're a little messy with it because I'm going to do a cut crease with it so it doesn't really matter how precise it is. I just wanted to deepen it up. All right, next I'm going in with my handy dandy ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 00 and I'm going to do a cut crease if you have been with me on my channel for a while, you know I do a cut crease with pretty much every look. I love it. It makes making looks so easy and I just love how all my looks turn out when I do do a cut crease. And then once I lay down the concealer, I'm going to use my finger to tap it out. All right, then I'm going in with my finger into the shade Golden Ticket. It is the shimmer on this side of the palette and I'm going to tap that over where I put down the concealer. And then once I get that tapped down, I'm actually going to take a very small brush and I'm going to pick up some more of that product and I'm just going to kind of tap in where my finger could not reach in that crease just to make sure it's nice and spread out. Then I'm going back into the shade B and I'm going to define my crease just a little bit over where I put down that shimmer and I'm also going to focus it in the outer V. And then I'm just going to blend that out as much as I can. 
Then I'm gonna go back into Golden Ticket and pop some more of that on top. Going into the shade Copper Boxes, I am blending everything out. And then this shade, My Whole Heart, is such a smart shade to put in a palette because it really helps you clean up things. I'm using it as a brow bone highlight, but if you saw, I also put it on the outer corner just to clean up any excess product. Going back into the shade B, putting that in my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the shade Camelot and I am smoking that out on the lower lash line. Then I'm taking a ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Get Paid, and that's what I'm going to be using on my waterline. And then I took this Revolution Eye Glisten, and it is in the shade... I don't know. I don't know the shade. It doesn't say it on the packaging that I'm looking at right now. But anyway, it's the rose gold color. <laughs> um, and I'll have it linked down below. And I'm just popping that on towards the inner part of my lid just to give it some extra pop. adore this palette for the sole fact that it's so easy to come up with a look. The way she laid everything out where it's like row, 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 you can create any look and then put that pop of uh, pop of shimmer. It's just laid out so nicely and the same with the other side. Like I feel like it'd be so simple to create a colorful look with the way this is laid out. Now to finish off my look, as you saw, I used this Revolution Eye Glisten. Fair warning, <laughs> if you're gonna use this, you need to do it in a tapping motion, like on your eyes, because this is going to strip any eyeshadow that you have underneath. I had to go back in and pack on the color because when I used a brush to put this on, and even when I used the doe foot and just kind of glided it over my lid, it completely, completely stripped off the eyeshadow that I had underneath. So just a little quick tip on that. Uh, for my eyelashes, I use the Pure Raw Beauty Christie 3D Cruelty Free Luxe Lashes in the style Lovely. And for my lips, I use the Morphe Pencil in Backseat Love and this uh, Melt Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fuse, which funny enough, this is not, this is not the shade that I ordered. I got this in the mail today. This is not what I ordered. Okay, anyway. Uh, so I really love this palette. I am so sad that it was limited edition and you can't get it anymore. I feel like if they were to just keep this in stock and keep selling it, I feel like people would be buying it for, you know, years to come. But <laughs> I accidentally ended up with two palettes. Launch day was an absolute disaster on Pure's website. It took me like two days to try to get this palette. And one order that shouldn't have gone through at all, but it did. Um, I ended up with two palettes and instead of sending it back, I thought it'd be fun to give it to one of you guys. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in this video. So this is completely unopened. I haven't even taken it out of the bubble wrap. I'm going to just leave it as is because I don't wanna be touching things with everything going on right now. So if you want to win the Raw Beauty Christie Pure Palette, like I said, this is no longer being sold. Um, what you need to do is be following me, so subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment down below letting me know, one, that you want to be entered in the giveaway, and two, where I can contact you. I would prefer an Instagram handle, or if you don't have an Instagram or you don't feel comfortable sharing your Instagram handle with me, 
go ahead and leave your email. I just need to know some way to contact you. And let's go ahead and have this contest going until August 20th. So on August 20th, I will be choosing a winner. It will be completely randomized. Um, so yeah, I just thought that'd be a fun way to give back since I did get two. So be sure to enter to win this and I'll again have all the info below if you need a reminder of how to enter. Okay, so that is it. That is all that I have for you today. I absolutely love and adore this palette. I absolutely love and adore Christy. And so I knew what she would be putting out would be nothing short of great. Uh, both sides of this palette are so wonderful. I can see myself using this side every single day. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>